Beyond this concrete structure lies Sudanese territory. Aid officials say on a daily basis they still register between 200 and 300 new refugees who come into eastern Chad. Over the past seven or eight months, we've seen hundreds of thousands, in fact, more than 600,000 Sudanese refugees displaced by the ongoing fighting inside Sudan who have crossed this way. And that added to more than 600,000 other Sudanese refugees displaced by earlier conflict in Western Darfur, numbering at more than 600,000 uh, people. Now, United Nations and other aid agencies are saying that they have only one month food supply left to help 1.2 million people in this part of Eastern Chad. In addition to uh, cases of malnutrition, pe uh, people who are actually needing assistance in other parts of Chad. Now, they say unless help comes their way, there won't be any food left to serve these people at the end of January. Now, what we're hearing also is that over the past few months, we've seen a reduction in the cases of malnutrition simply because of the constant supply of food items. And there is this concern that unless help comes their way, this improvement will be eroded over the past, over the next few months, simply because families that were sustained with food supplies and food aid will no longer receive that aid. Now, uh, a lot of people are concerned that uh, over the next three or four months, when people will be entering the lean periods, cases of malnutrition will rise again. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, on the Sudan-Chad border. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.